Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Thinking and acting poor is a learned mindset. What am I talking about? I am talking about that how most of us, and this doesn't include if you haven't, grew up in low impoverished neighborhoods. We grew up in areas that were stricken by crime and drugs and people who did those basic blue collar jobs that, or some of them just did any type of job working at a gas station, but nevertheless, didn't have enough capital to live in those really high grade, upper class neighborhoods, suburban neighborhoods, where the schools are great, the neighborhoods are great, things are safer, etc. But look at it like this. Some of you made it out. Some of you are profitable. Some of you are doing the best prior to you not doing your best. It's a mindset. Now, some of you would like to blame yourself. Some of you would like to blame your parents, so on and so forth, your grandparents, or whatever the case may be. Now, we all play a role in this thinking mindset, but now that you're a little bit older, and that doesn't mean you have to be, you know, 30s and 40s, you can be in your 20s. Now that you know what right looks like and that you want to be a substantial citizen and go out and establish a career and do it, how, how do you break? that block, how do you break what has been inputted into you year after year after year? Quite frankly, what helped me to break that uh, uh, gener generational curse of, you know, my aunts and uncles selling drugs and this, that, and the other, and, and those drug infested neighborhoods that I grew up in in DC, is I had a role model, or better yet, I had role models that really dug deep into me. I remember I had a pro, NFL role model who worked at the Boys and Girls Club in one of the DC branches. His name was Derek Goddard, and I believe he paid for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers back in the 80s or 90s. He's an older gentleman, and he took a liking to me because I was kind of in between the streets and in between school. Um, that's because those things in those particular neighborhoods, you don't have enough positive role models because everybody around you seems like they're doing the wrong thing. They're stealing cars, they're breaking in stores, they're robbing, they're fighting, etc. I believe role models are the key in order to get your mind outside of your environment, outside of the poor man's mentality because everything is driven by the economy, economics in that neighborhood. Now, do you think if those families, okay, if those families had upstanding, high paying jobs and careers that that neighborhood would look that way? No, they would not, okay? It has been proven, okay? Because everybody would want nice stuff and everybody would have nice stuff. So why would people steal other people's nice stuff when they have nice stuff? That don't make no damn sense now, does it? Now, if one of you out the whole neighborhood has nice stuff, then everybody else is just like, oh, he over there flossing. Oh, he's showing off. No, he's kind of rewarding himself, but in my opinion, don't reward yourself in this neighborhood, dog. Save your money and then move out when you can. You know what I'm saying? So this mindset has to have an avenue. It has to have a way out. And I believe that uh, mentors and positive people in the neighborhood need to teach. And it doesn't matter what age you are. If you're 40 and your role model is 30, but the only thing he's, he's giving you is life. He's giving you tools in your tool bags in order to make out that poverty and stricken neighborhood. And what am I talking about when I'm talking about like advice and mentorship? First and foremost, you need to know there's a way out. Some of us growing up, we didn't know there was a way out. Okay, the only thing we saw was our environment. We didn't know there was a way out, but there's a way out, okay? First and foremost, the way out is education. Those damn books that's in your schools, that's in your local libraries, that's free. Only thing you have to go do is get a freaking library card and sit down and read, okay? There has been people who started with nothing, who started with nothing and now are doing substantially well, okay? Because they picked up a freaking book that changed their life. They had a mentor that changed their life or they had a combination of all those that changed their life. So if you are living in a neighborhood, in an environment, in a small microcosm that you want to get out of, find a role model, find a mentor, Pick up a book that can elevate your mind for you to start seeing the avenues, the pathways, and the gates so you can exit the hell out of your situation, 
okay? Do not think that if you continue to do the same thing, something different is going to happen. And what I mean is now, if you're saving and investing your money, yeah, something different is going to happen. That money will keep piling up. But if you're talking about getting out of that neighborhood and you're doing the same thing, you're out there clubbing, you're working hard, but you're out there clubbing, listen, you're repeating the same steps that maybe your mom or aunt, your uh, father and uncle, so on and so forth did, and it only landed them where? Back in that neighborhood, okay? For some reason, in my neighborhood growing up, um, it seemed like people had money, but they took that money that they bust their ass for or sold drugs and went out and partied it away. They didn't invest it. They didn't save it. They didn't buy property. Uh, they didn't do nothing. The only thing they probably had was a bucket or a nice car, but then they live in an apartment, okay? Now, all my life, I lived in an apartment until I became an adult. All my life, lived in an apartment. Lived in an apartment, okay? So this is just a quick message. If you want to change your environment, mentors, role models, and books. You may think it's a lot more to it than that. No, because all of those are avenues of getting out of your situation. So Ross World, once again, I've made at least two videos about you reading books and me giving you suggestions about books. Because like I said, your local library should be free or a very small nominal fee. This is Ross World. Again, get out of your situation by finding pathways. I'm out.